Right, hi folks. Okay, I'm trying to keep out of the wind, but uh, I don't know if you remember, I was doing a video here. I uh, did uh, several videos. I um, can't remember where specifically uh, I'd been that day, uh, but I was walking around. I was doing various different videos. It might have been even at the Tate Modern. Uh, it might have been part of the Tate Modern uh, videos that I've been doing. Anyway, so I got to this point, and like I say, I was doing a uh, sort of like last vlog. Um, before home um, and then what happened so the, the battery runs out yeah first no first the I think first it was the memory card and then it was the battery uh, and I didn't get to do the vlog that I wanted to do uh, because I was trying to tell you guys there's part of my story as part of uh, my homelessness uh, when I lived on the streets around here this is all Waterloo uh, Waterloo train station, St Thomas's, all around that sort of area sort of thing uh, and a bit further afield just depending and, uh, but anyway mostly for the first 18 months at least uh, around this sort of area uh, and as I said sometimes I'd be sleeping at the back of St Thomas's sometimes in the tunnel there um, but anyway on a couple of occasions uh, you know in the evening early evening or whatever I came to this shop here this it says Lebanese Grill uh, but I don't know if it was a Lebanese grill at the time, it might have changed hands since. Uh, I have no idea, to be quite honest. Uh, I couldn't really remember. All I know, it was a, a burger shop, as far as I was concerned. You know what I mean? When you're homeless um, and you're hungry uh, and there's a burger shop, it's a burger shop, you know what I mean? You're not really going to pay attention to what it's called, necessarily. Or at least I didn't, anyway. Um, so, like I said, uh, you know, I, it's just it's funny how some things stick in your memory. Because, like I say, you know, I used to come down here uh, either that way or from the way I've just come, which is from around this corner here. Uh, you know, and I, I'd go to that uh, kebab, uh, well, you know, I don't know if you call it kebab shop, whatever, burger shop, kebab shop, whatever. Um, and, you know, I'd go in there, get myself a nice burger with like all the chips, all the trimmings, you know what I mean, the lettuce and all the rest of it. Uh, and it used to be a big, huge, double, you know, sort of like, what, what do they call it, um, quarter pounder or half pounder or whatever the heck it was. Uh, can't remember how much it cost me off the top of my head now, but, you know, I, but I wouldn't do it like regular, do you know what I mean? That wasn't my regular what's then, because most of my money went on booze. But on occasions when you got hungry enough and, you know, you, know, you, you buy some food now and again, and like I say, occasionally I'd buy myself a burger from there. And just the enjoyment, just the, the what's the name of, oh, for crying out loud, thanks wind, great, sorry, um, just know how annoying it can be when you, you know what I mean, what, can, can we not have one a windless day? Please, call oh, blimey Charlie man. I'm trying to do a vlog and all I can, I bet that sounds like a flipping hurricane on there now. Right, so as I'm trying to tell you, um, as I said, uh, so like I come out of there and uh, like I said, I'd have this big burger and chips, you know, in a big sort of plastic uh, polythy um, polystyrene, uh, uh, tray thing uh, with a plastic fork and all that sort of thing and and to me it was like a feast do you know what I mean it was like um, it was like Christmas day do you know what I mean it was like having turkey do you know what I mean or whatever you know it, it was like having a Christmas dinner or something uh, to me you know I'd go back I'd go scurrying back to my little you know wherever I was sleeping at that point you know what I mean and then settle down and start munching on my burger and eating my chips you know what I mean and Oh man, you know, and it's funny, it's like little things like that that sound really inconsequential in some ways and and also you it might sound like oh, oh you're really reveling in your your memories of being homeless but you know the thing is that as hard and as horrible and as you know detrimental as those times were um, there was also the odd moment here and there that you know because you you make it's a bit like the guy that the book I'm reading at the moment the guy says uh, we're meaning makers uh, that's a fundamental part of being a human being is we try to make meaning out of our lives we try to make meaning out of the things that we encounter in the day-to-day -day, uh, lives um, and so you know I guess that's what I would I was doing in a sense you know what I mean and to me that burger meant a heck of a lot do you know what I mean? because it was the first warm food I would have had in 
God knows how long. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it could have been, could have been, I don't know, weeks before I'd had a hot meal. I might have been eating like a packet of crisps here and there or something like that. But um, you know, a proper. And I mean, I know it's not a proper hot meal in that sense, you know what I mean? There's no vegetables necessary, well, apart from the lettuce, maybe. Um, but, you know, essentially, you know what I mean? It's not the most healthiest food in the world, but still, you know what I mean? To me, uh, it was a proper meal at that point, you know what I mean? It was the first, like, hot meal I'd had in, like I say, years. Well, no, sorry, not years, what am I talking about? Sorry, you know, in, in a good long time, anyway. I mean, sometimes it could go on for months where all I'd be doing is drinking, 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 uh, and then, like I say, in between all that, there'd be the odd packet of crisps or whatever, or biscuits or, or something, do you know what I mean? Just, just barely enough to keep me going. Um, but, you know, uh, like I say, every now and again, I would get myself a burger, like I said, as a sort of treat to myself in, in that sense. Um, and I just loved it. And it's funny how, like I say, things like that, small, trivial little things, and I happen to be walking down there and walk past that uh, shop, like I said, that's on the corner there, and it, it just came flooding back. Do you know what I mean? That memory. There's one specific memory of it, to be quite honest, where, like I say, I remember coming out of that shop with a burger one night, because I'd done it a few times before, like I said, but for some reason that particular one sticks in my memory more than, a, more than most. I don't know why, um, but uh, yeah, I come out of that shop and, you know, I've got my burger and chips and off I went and, you know, I felt as happy as Larry at that point, you know what I mean? My life might have been absolute shit, but at that moment in time, you know, it was like I was happy as a sandboy, you know what I mean? It was just amazing. Uh, and like I said, it's just funny how these things just stay in your memory like that. Right, okay, uh, I think I've waffled on enough about that. That was the vlog I was intending to make. Um, maybe not exa those exact words, because God knows what I would have said on the original day when I was about to make that video. Um, so, uh, right, hang on, let's just try and get across this road first. Right, hang on, hang on, wait, 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 wait. Right, let's get to the middle bit, at least get to the reservation. Thank you. The Texas driver's allowing me across, which is nice of him. Uh, you don't get a lot of that these days, particularly in London. You know, very rarely do you get a driver who'll let you cross like that. More often than not, they're too eager and too busy trying to get to wherever they're going. But, uh, so I... I always try to make a point of thanking the driver, you know, sort of like, with, you know, obviously not personally going up and shaking his hand or whatever, I mean, you know, um, I just mean, you know, sort of like a nod or a, you know, wave of the hand sort of thing. Anyway, now I'm just waffling on about nothing now, so, anyway, right, we're now heading home, like I said, so, uh, oh, look at these oil drums with the flowers in, man. We are Waterloo, hey, hey, right, okay, there's my favourite coffee shop, but... Sadly, no coffee today. I haven't got any money. Right. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Oh, and please subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.